guys, today I created this last minute Christmas slash holiday makeup. Uh, I try to incorporate green and red in this makeup because I think green and red really represent the holiday spirit and Christmas and everything. So uh, yeah, I really like how it turned out. I hope you guys like it and don't forget to throw this video a thumbs up if you like it and let's get started. I finished my skincare and now I'm going to prep my face and first I'm going in with this <coughs> prepping spray from Urban Decay. Now to give my skin the firmer moisturization and to make my skin more radiant and then uh, just basically make a really nice canvas for the foundation, I'm going to use this primer from Misha and then after that I'm going to use this foundation which I got from uh, my recent vacation to Guam. These two together guys, oh my gosh, these are like match made in heaven. These are so invincible these are the bomb oh my gosh so i'm going to use these two together but first um i'm applying this more not moisturizer um primer all over my skin and oh my gosh i'm so glad that i got this because it's awesome especially at this time of the year when your skin gets dry easily it's so good. It stays moisturized all throughout the day and it just makes your foundation look look so like dewy and smooth. I love this primer so much. Now it's time to ready set gorgeous. This is such an amazing foundation. For the price, this is like oh, it's so good. Um I'm kind of going for that dewy skin today, so I'm not going to mix it with, you know, more matte foundation. But if I was uh, going for like a more um, satiny um, skin finish, then I'll definitely mix it with uh, more like, you know, less moisturizing foundation. So today I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend it all out. So for the under eye, today I'm using this concealer from Misha. Uh, I recently got it from my haul. So if you guys didn't see that haul, I'll link it up here. But um, I luckily don't have heavy dark circles, but I still want to cover that area just a little bit so that it all ties together with the foundation. And just a little bit on top of my nose area just like that and then using a beauty blender I'm going to uh, blend it all out oh I love this concealer it's so creamy and moisturizing oh yes love it all right so I use glasses all the time so I don't know if you can see but I have like marks on both sides of my nose so to cover that up I'm going to use a uh, thicker concealer it's a stick concealer from Nature Republic and uh, it's a uh, it's a stick concealer in number 23 so I'm going to cover this area really really nicely so if you wear glasses all the time, this is the area that you definitely, definitely want to pay extra attention to. And then I have small little breakouts and rednesses right under my cheekbone area. And also on top of my nose, it gets rubbed off really easily. And also I have big pores and I absolutely want to cover that. And um, I'm using this concealer from Kat Von D to cover all those up using this brush. It's from Sigma and uh, it's a uh, precision flat brush in P80 
guys this brush is heaven if you have big pores and if you've had you know you know trouble applying foundation on like your nose area and some of the areas that should have a lot a lot of pores and like big pores this will save your makeup life oh my gosh so um, just getting the concealer and I'm just dabbing it like this don't rub don't drag just tap 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 and it just sinks into your skin and it just covers your like pores like heaven like oh my gosh like it's a magic it's so great I highly highly recommend it this brush has been sitting in my makeup drawer for a long time I just you know I was like what is what does this do nothing and then recently I grabbed it and I used it for my like nose area and then like this area and it's like what is this who are you come back to my life so if you have this bust it out give it more love if you don't have this uh, then get it <laughs> for the under eye powder I'm using this elf HD under eye powder and I'm using a uh, damp beauty blender to apply this for the rest of the area I'm using this powder from Innisfree and using a big fluffy brush I'm just going to dust it loosely Alright, so I did my eyebrows off camera. Um, so for the eyes, I'm going to use Soft Ochre as a base today. Using a Sigma P86 brush. So I'm, I'm going to not only put a base for my eyeshadows, but I'm going to bring it right under the eyebrows as well and kind of use it as a uh, brow bone highlighter. So pretty much all over the entire eyelid. And then I'm going to put on some eyeshadow that is almost exactly identical to my skin tone right under my brow bone. And for that, I'm using this eyeshadow in cream from Lorac Pro Mega Palette 1. So this is a uh, brow highlight very natural now I'm going to pick up soft brown from MAC and use it as a transition color hope you guys can see the color sometimes my camera is too dark sometimes it's freaking too bright so I don't know how to cater to this freaking camera but uh, basically I'm applying this soft brown eyeshadow on my crease area I don't have crease so uh, I just imagine that I have a crease and then just put down this color right here and then I'm going to darken up the crease area and then make a little um, outer V with uh, this eyeshadow it's called clove from Mac And then I want to use some dark colors on the uh, inner corners and like pretty much like this area for today's look. So uh, using the same color clove, I'm going to, uh, well, use a different brush like a uh, flat brush. Picking up that clove color and then just make a uh, little curve right there. And then using Sigma E45 um, with no eyeshadows, I'm just going to blend it all together. Alright, so now for the center part of the eye, I'm going to use this color called Cashmere from the Laura Pro Mega Palette 1 and just apply it nicely. <laughs> couldn't think of any other words 
So this really pops. Ooh, yes. And uh, just try to concentrate it in the very uh, center part. Now to make the center pop even more, I'm going to use this cream shimmery shadow from Misha. And I'm just going to, you know, pick it up with my finger and then dab it. And then on top of that, uh, we're going to go back to this cashmere eyeshadow and just intensify it. Okay, I want to intensify my outer V just a little more. So using this eyeshadow called Espresso from MAC, uh, I'm going to just darken the outer V area. For the lower lash line, I'm going to go really Christmassy. Remember this palette from Too Faced last year or the year before? I still love this palette. And um, for the lower lash line, I'm going to pick up this green eyeshadow and it's called Evergreen. And um, I'm just getting this color and uh, applying it from the very outer corner up to about where uh, up to about here and then we're gonna um, extend a line so there's going to be a little gap in the uh, inner corner and going to fill that up with a glitter eyeliner using this brush I'm going to extend a line Now with my favorite glitter eyeliner from Tony Molly, we're going to make the inner corner, like lower inner corner pop like it's nobody's business. And of course I'm gonna draw the eyeliner because eyeliner is like air to me. I cannot live without it. So today I'm using these two eyeliners together, one from Catrice and one from NYC. Now the eyeliners are done, I'm going to put on Noir Fairy Black by House of Lashes. So eyes are done. Uh, I really like how it turned out. It's not obviously your everyday makeup. Uh, I like to stay out of my comfort zone and go something bold and crazy every once in a while. Actually every single day. <laughs> so this is my Christmas eyes and for the face uh, I'm going to contour first and then warm it up and then go in with blush and everything else. So for the contour I'm using heroin eyeshadow from Ilamasca with um, I'm applying it with a um, Real Techniques brush. And then, oh, it's been forever. I'm going to use Hula Bronzer. Seriously, it's been like, I don't know, like a year or so. And then using a very uh, fluffy and flat brush. This one is actually from a Korean brand called Picasso. And uh, I'm just softening up the edges and bronze up the entire face. Now going back to the contour color, I'm going to contour the size of my nose because otherwise you will not be able to see my nose. Today I'm mixing these two highlighters together. This one is Perfect Topping from MAC and uh, Merry Luminizer from The Bomb. 
I'm going in with the perfect topping. It's such a subtle, natural, and just easy and comfortable highlighter. Perfect for every day. And then we're gonna put on some steroids, which is the Mary Luminizer. Well, to me, this is not boom anymore because uh, I've got some other intensive highlighters that just gives you that crazy, like, on your face glow. Not even glow, like glitter. But this one is fairly natural to me, and yet it's still got that party going on. So, oh, I love it. For the cheeks, I'm using this blush from uh, the Apu Doraemon Holiday Collection. Uh, it's like a uh, really nice pinkish apricot color. So I'm barely applying it. For the lips, I'm going bald, I'm going Christmassy. Um, I'm using this. Lipstick from Innisfree. It's a uh, really beautiful, kind of cherish red color. And then I'm going to top it off with uh, this uh, creamy tint lip mousse from Innisfree as well. Ooh, I totally forgot to do my lower lashes. So uh, for the lower lashes, I'm using three mascaras. This one as a primer, as a uh, lengthener, and this one as a uh, volumizing mascara, so uh, I'll be back. Lastly, I'm just going to spritz this makeup setting spray to get rid of all those powdery finish, so... for watching I hope it was somewhat helpful and if you enjoyed it please don't forget to throw this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also I have a snapchat and Instagram which is all makeup by Dami so you guys have a nice holiday and I'll see you very soon in my next video bye